All right, we're here with Eric's HJ61. Going to do a little tutorial on how to use this uh, PTO winch, power takeoff winch. And uh, his cable is uh, pretty darn loose, so we're going to pre-tension this cable. You don't want to have to take this out and use it, use it in a short pull and just pull the cable really hard on all these uh, wraps. It's not going to be good for it. It's going to kink it. So to free spool, you pull this handle up, pull it over. Now this will free spool. So now we've used this uh, tree strap protector here. Um, you want to make sure you always use these on a tree because you don't want to damage the environment. That's a pretty big tree. If we pull that down doing this, then uh, we're in over our head. All right, so we've got all our cable pulled out. It was pretty bad there. It was, uh, there's even a little kink in it. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're just going to tighten this thing up. Make sure you wear your safety gloves and your safety glasses. Don't want to get anybody hurt. All right, this is pretty simple. All you got to do is shift your uh, transfer case into neutral right there. Take your PTO, squeeze the uh, lockout button, and pull it down. And that's it. So the easy thing to remember is, if you put the truck in reverse, the winch goes in reverse. If you put it in first, it'll pull the lowest gear uh, in first. If you want to speed it up, you can actually put it in second, third, fourth, fifth. I wouldn't use anything over third if, uh, unless I was just uh, retracting the cable, and that's about it. So let's tighten that cable up. Now this isn't a big pull, but one thing we like to do is we like to put something on top of this cable. Uh, you got to do it with the st steel cable for sure. Uh, that just means that if something breaks, if that hook lets go, then the cable's not going to go flying through the windshield of the truck. That's just a safety precaution. Turn towards it. All right, so he's got that in third gear and they're wrapping that up and it's a uh, pretty decent speed. All right, we've uh, pre-tensioned this uh, cable. We've got it on the drum pretty good. So now when you uh, bring the line in with a good pull, you're not gonna kink up the cable a whole lot. You know, a recommendation that I have with the new type of synthetic wire rope they have out now, I would recommend that over this stuff. A little safer to use and uh, I really like working with it. You know, you don't have to worry about uh, getting little splinters of cable in your hand. This winch is rated at about 8,000 pounds, so I do recommend that if you're going to do some heavy pulling with it, use a snatch block. If you don't, you're going to bust the shear pin in it, and then it's a real pain in the butt because number one, nobody usually carries shear pins, and number two, if you're in the middle of a bog, it's going to be really hard to find where you even have to put that shear pin. It's actually right on the back uh, the propeller shaft that comes into the winch, so it's a really hard place to find. So carry a couple extra shear pins with you. Don't exceed the maximum pull of this winch and uh, use a snatch block. But these winches are really good, you know. You don't have to rely on uh, electric powered winches for this kind of thing. You don't have to worry about get it getting wet. All you have to do is make sure that the fluid is topped up in the winch and that's about it. it impossible to find me go on and believe it's nothing at all aren't you sick of promises that I break come on